Hey, this is Ben with Breadstone, and you're watching The Zone. Once upon a time, there was a magical place overflowing with music videos, interviews, and extraordinary host. This land was called The Zone. Hi, I'm Ginny, and I'll be your guide for today. First stop along our journey is Rush of Fools. Enjoy. Rush of Fools just released a new album called Wonder of the World, and they're scheduled to be touring like mad over the next year. So make sure you check out their new website for show dates. And now it's time to switch to something a little harder. Next up, we have Red with the most downloaded song of the summer on MTV2.com. Here's Already Over on The Zone. Yes, it is that time. Time for us to take a break. But as always, we have more music videos, plus an interview with an up and coming band and a live performance. So don't go far. You are watching The Zone. Uh, you make my heart stop beating. Had to go to the doctor to check my breathing. It's like my lungs collapse every time that I see ya. Stumbling over my words when I try to speak. I'm like, duh, what are the chances of a guy like you and a girl like me? Hey, welcome back to The Zone. I'm Jenny, and I'm gonna tell you about a great new artist. Introducing Milwaukee's contribution to the world of urban pop music. His name is B. Reif, and no, he's not related to Toby Mac, but he does have a really great sound. And he's Goatee Records' newest signing. Here he is with his debut video, Awestruck, right here on The Zone. A really cool band named Bread of Stone recently passed through our studio and the underground for an interview and an intimate concert. So standing by to introduce you to our new musical friends is Zone host, Tiffany. Hey guys, I'm just hanging out here with Ben, the front man of up and coming rockers, Bread of Stone. Okay, so I'm sure coming to Iowa from Indonesia, <laughs> there had to be a lot of cultural differences. Coming from Indonesia, which is a Muslim, uh, primary Muslim country, and moving over to here, we felt such a freedom. Mm -hmm. It was more of, especially when we first landed to, uh, and we were landed in LA, um, you could just sense the spirit of freedom in the country. And I was small, I was only nine years old, so I didn't really know much about anything, but I really sensed that, and we really sensed that, you know, and even in the airplane itself when we landed, it was just, you feel that sense of freedom in this country. I noticed that you guys are involved in a lot of organizations and things outside of music. Yes. So why is that so important to you? So I know the music itself is very crucial and important to, um, to minister to people in that way. But we felt that there was more to it than just the music. Um, that's why we try to, you know, we partner up with different organizations just to um, be able to accommodate better to the need in this world. For example, one of the songs, Frozen in Time, that is on our uh, latest record, um, that was written after we came down to um, Louisiana, where we were helping out with the Hurricane Katrina um, disaster relief. And on the way back, it really, really um, changed the way I see things. There was a um, big change in my own uh, personal life that that's where that song came about. So it does play a rather large role yeah. in the writing of music. The title track to your current album, Letting Go, yes. has gotten a lot of radio success. Yeah. So uh, why don't you explain to us what Letting Go is about? I was born and raised a Christian all my life, but I really felt like there was still something that was not right inside myself. And I, I, you know, I went to church, I read the Bible, I did the right things, but it was the relationship with Christ that was missing. It was my part for me to surrender my life to Him. It took me to surrender my pride. It took me to let go of everything and not just a part of me. You 
guys, be sure to stick around because we have got a performance from Red of Stone coming up for you right after this. Now the last break is out of the way, and it's time to wrap up this episode. House of Heroes just released a new album called The End Is Not The End. And you know what? They might just be right. Because now we've got to say goodbye, but we still have their music video to show you. Go figure. So, goodbye. Ta-ta. So long. Farewell.